Hello, hello. I have another product review that's not directly tatting related, but I found it and it's just so cool. I have to share. I know you can't see it very well because it's shiny and because it's kind of far away, but these are bead storage trays, bead storage containers. So we're going to take a closer look. These are the bead storage um, containers by Elizabeth Ward, I believe is her name. Yes, Elizabeth Ward. Um, they can be easily found on Amazon. They also are sold at the big box store of Joann's Fabrics. Um, I have not been able to find them in my local Joann's, but my local Joann's doesn't have a lot of things. So let's go, hopefully, to the down shot. It may, this may work, or it may end up on the blooper roll, but here, let's give it a shot. So we'll start with the prettiest one, and I've already done all the beads that I have, which is way too many beads. Let me just be honest. I have three uh, bead storage containers, and what I did was, let's see if we can do this. Ready? Put the tongue out the proper side of the mouth helps with everything, just so you know. Yeah, that's really, really bright. Let's try this. Okay, that's better. Um, don't worry, everybody's okay. All right, so this is the tiny bead storage container. It's upside down, so hold on one second. Tiny bead storage. Let me make sure I'm all the way back. Okay, that's as back as we're getting. Hold on one second. Let me let me see if I can move the camera. Hold on. I'll be right back. And we're back. So anyways, I wanted to try the snap. I don't think it worked, but one of my friends said try the snap. So I said, eh, I'll try the snap. I don't think it snapped very well. But anyway, let's take a look. Oh, goodness. So it comes in these handy dandy containers. You unlock the sides and this lid lifts completely off. And then you see the lovelies. And basically, I have a billion and one seed beads, as you can tell, in various hues and colors and whatever. I'm going fast. I apologize. But I don't want this to be an hour long just of you looking at my beads. Um, I'm a little OCD, so I did color code them quite uh, extensively in this one. And then what's really nice is I'll just pull out this one here. Um, they're in their own little container. And I'm going to carefully open there so you can see there are all the lovelies. So green's my favorite color. I just happened to grab them. that one. That's kind of funny. But, um, these are the, these are matte seed beads, so they're not shiny because um, they're intentionally matte. And then I have other ones that are shiny. Let's say these, these are kind of some of my faves. These are a little big, bigger of a seed bead. These are probably 10 aught and those other ones were probably 12 aught. So just so you can see some beads. And then um, one second, I'll be right back again. Sorry to have to pause so much, but I forgot one of the coolest little features that came with this. Hold on. And we're back again. <laughs> Like I said, I don't think that snap is working, but it's fun. Uh, anyway, I forgot one of the coolest things to show. Let's see. Okay, there I am. Might be easier to do it this way. It might be backwards for you. But these are the cool little stickers that come with. And let's go just one more second down. So you can see. And there's one that I've already removed because I wanted to see how they would fit on because I was like, okay, they're like this horseshoe looking um, thing. So what they do, the best way is under just like that. And then they fit just perfectly. So you can put, you know, where they're from, the um, information, where you bought them, how much they were. There's even a, a built-in price um, so if you're selling beads, there's a built-in price area. But anyways, these are the tiny, and this has 
80 in its section um, of containers. So there are 80 in here. And let me put the lid on here and get the other one. Now these, these other one, this other one here I'm going to show you, I cobbled together. So let me grab the box real quick. This is what it, whoopsie, this is what it looks like. And of course you can't see the picture. There you go. But it basically comes with a line of tiny, um, a line, two lines of small, two lines of medium, and a line of large. Of course, none of these come with beads in them. That should be self-explanatory, but in case it's not, beads are not included. Uh, it's just the containers themselves. So you have tiny, small, medium, and large in the, the other 45-piece assorted tray. And I cobbled together this one on my own. So I have just more seed beads, more small. This is, these are the tiny. These are the small containers. These are medium. So I'll try to get tiny, small, medium. And I don't have any large in this container just because that's the way I did it. That's why I organized it for myself. So let me grab the third one I have out here. And as you'll see, this one isn't as full as my other two. Shockingly, I don't have enough to fill all of them, which I know that's a shocker for you and for my husband. <laughs> but here is my third tray, which I said, again, I cobbled together. So here again is a tiny, here's a small, here's a medium, and here's a large. Get that all in the shot. And they all have the, the base where you can put the stickers. The base is just about the same size across the board. So you can put that sticker anywhere you like. So this is my one of my new favorite things for seed beads. It's excellent for seed beads. I'm still on the hunt to find a baby spoon so I can dip out. Um, someone online suggested that, and I think that's a fabulous idea. So I'm going to go with that. And I hope that you have enjoyed this review. They do stack well. Um, let me grab these from the floor real quick. They do stack well just on top of one another like so, which I know you can't see in the down shot. Hold on, I'll go back to the up shot here. See, they do stack well like that. And I store them like this in my bookcase. So, and they are, um, they do not hang over very much out of the front of my bookcase. So I really enjoy these. These have been the best find that I could find for my beads. They don't, they're not so great for super large beads but I don't use super large beads very much. I use a lot of seed beads, 11 aught, 12 aught, um, depending on your, your thread size. 20 thread is my most predominantly used for, for my personal use. And so using um, 12 aught or uh, 11 aught seed beads uh, are pretty good for that. But this is how I use them. And I just stack them up like this in my bookcase. And they are really, really nice. You could write on the side of them if you really wanted to. Um, I had a different storage system. And uh, the drawer, I had a, um, like a big wide thing that had drawers in it, kind of like you would find in, in a garage or uh, a, someone that was a, a tool guy that had a lot of you know screws and nuts and bolts and that kind of thing. Um, and it wasn't 
first of all, it had a hole in the drawer, so the seed beads would have fallen completely out of the drawer into oblivion. And it also, um, the, it did have a divider, so it divided the drawer in half because it was quite a long drawer and it was quite deep for seed for my purposes and I didn't realize so the first time I bought a seed bead storage thing I bought like the diamond dot uh, little container like tic tac containers those were way too small um, so that wasn't didn't work at all then I bought the drawer thing and it like I said it wasn't the greatest and the dividers that went into it only divided it in half so then I made myself some more dividers but that wasn't the I wasn't really satisfied with that solution. It wasn't the best solution for me. And so then I was just happened upon these one day, you know, cruising on Amazon as one might. And so I found these. Um, they are a little on the pricey side, I will say, for, for my purposes, for my budget. But I did like them. And if they work, they're way better than, you know, something that doesn't work. And they're way better than chasing beads all over the floor. I will also say beading mats from Bead Magic are uh, a lifesaver. They're really nice because it stops the, the rolling bead problem uh, because they're sticky. And if they get all covered in gunk, you can wash them off and they retain their stickiness. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonder of nature. I don't know how they do it. Uh, but it's quite fun. So I encourage you to try your hand at, at beading. Um, I've made some earrings here. I happen to have a couple pairs. They're the same design. These are by, the pattern is by Snow Goose. And they are um, in a little book. So don't be stealing patterns. But this is just um, some sort of pink um, thread I found. I'm not even quite sure what it is, what the, what the brand of it is. And this is just, um, the same kind, but in like a, a maroon color. So same, same pattern basically. Uh, but I did some beadwork. I did some other earrings. They're out in the other room. I won't stop to, to get them now, but I did some with a uh, Ceylon thread, which is much more in line with what you would use for uh, an earring or something beaded traditionally in tatting and that worked out really well and this system worked out really really well so again it's the bead storage solutions by Elizabeth Ward they look like this in the box whoopsie their boxes look like that hello back here <laughs> so I hope that you've enjoyed these and I hope that you enjoy the product reviews. If you don't like them, please let me know because I don't want to be wasting your time putting stuff up that you're like, why is she wasting my time putting this stuff up? I don't want to watch this stuff. So thank you to everyone who watches and subscribes to the channel. Um, thank you for all of your help and support. There are exciting things coming in August. I don't want to talk about it too soon before it happens. But as soon as I get a package, I'm, I have a, a package coming. As soon as I get a package, there will be definitely some more reviews of some shuttles that I have coming and, and some surprise things. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful night. And of course, you know that you have opposable thumbs and scissors. And hopefully you don't have to use the scissors too awful much. But if you do, it's okay. It's just thread. You are the masters of it. So you have yourselves a wonderful night. Stay cool and tat on. Have a great night.